What's up everyone? Welcome to the TID Radio Communications Instruction Channel. Today we're going to talk about how to use CTCSS and DCS. These two technologies are used mainly for signaling and communication. CTCSS is identified by adding frequency specific tones, while DCS uses digital encoding. Both of these technologies are meant to ensure privacy and reduce channel interference. So, how do you use these two? Let's start by scanning for DCS as an example. First, enter the appropriate receive frequency by pressing the number keys in the frequency mode. Then, go to menu 29 and press the menu key to start scanning. You will see the values above changing when the radio recognizes that the DCS tone in the received signal matches the standard DCS tone, it will stop scanning. Now we can see that both of our radios have a frequency band of 136000 and can communicate with each other. The receiving CTCSS of the white radio is now set to 2541 hertz. It can be seen that even if the frequency bands of the two radios are the same, the white one cannot receive the calls from the black one. When the transmission CTCSS of the black radio is also set to 2541 hertz, then it can be seen that the white radio can receive calls from the black radio again. There are 50 groups of CTCSS tones and 208 groups of normal and inverse DCS codes. Note that the settings for CTCSS and DCS cannot be changed in channel mode. I hope this video helped you to better understand how to use CTCSS and DCS. If this helped you out, drop a like. If it didn't, tell us why in the comments. Thanks for watching.